2021, I was diagnosed with uh, colorectal cancer that had, uh, had metastasized to the liver. And uh, the liver at that time uh, had multiple tumors uh, throughout the, the liver. We started off with st standard treatment chemotherapy, and it seemed to be working very well when I first started. Uh, the body was responding, the tumors were, were shrinking for about a year and a half, no issues. And then somewhere along the line, uh, the cancer had mutated and become resistant to the chemotherapy. Oh, I think it's the most tragic thing that a person can hear is that your child is, is deemed can't help him. And I think the people around feel the same way. It's a helplessness and it's a profound sadness that enters you and you really want to do something. Histotripsy is a new non-invasive technology that uses focused ultrasound waves to target and destroy cancer tissue in the liver. Instead of like conventional radiation where it has to burn itself and damage everything as it gets through to the target, uh, this doesn't do that. The ultrasonic technology can just pass through the, in any material, for example, the liver, and you have a solid tumor in the middle of the, of the tumor, it can just create a focal point and just destroy that one area and basically delete the solid tumor right where it sits and it turns it into liquid and the body just passes it and heals up. Why wouldn't our medical system simply purchase the equipment and bring it up for use here and start saving lives? There's many people with all kinds of liver tumors and so on that could be treated today, you know, um, instead of treating it with uh, chemotherapy and radiation, which causes a lot of long-term damage, unfortunately. We're contributing to, to help others, not just self. For Ron, it's been a journey and he hasn't ended yet. We want to do the GoFundMe, we want to raise the money to have that treatment in the States. It's just too bad that it's nowhere in Canada. It's frustrating and then when you bring it up with the doctors, they just dismiss it. Unfortunately, they just make like they don't know about it. Maybe they don't, they don't know about it. But uh, it almost seems like, that. and you know, I've had multiple conversations about it. Then when you come back and talk about it again, they act like they just they never bothered to even do some basic um, web searching around it and that kind of thing they just yeah no we don't know anything about it sorry you ask yourself the question why does this happen to me and why what's going to be the outcome for me and i think we decided that finding that answer was the legacy of helping others if this innovative treatment can be brought to canada and it should be here then we should be able to do something to make that happen. It just seems like they're, again, they're just firewalled from all this information. You know, the, anything outside of BC Cancer or whatever cancer agency they're working within, they don't have any knowledge. They just work within what they have within their system and, and their building and their equipment, which is so out of date already. The histotripsy procedure for removing liver tumors is completely non-invasive, offering the potential to transform the patient experience. As a society, we need to put the pressure on, on the politicians and the people in charge of, of, of the medical system saying, why don't we have this? Why don't you bring it in? Why can't we get things happening here? You know, put them in you know, some of the major cities in Canada and get the ball rolling on this. There, there's no reason why people should suffer and die you know, because they have a lack of awareness in their field. Why is Canada behind cancer treatment? The question is a lot of it has to do with money, it has to do with politicians, it has to do with the political system, who will bring it in? And you know, they're so uh, regimented to what they want politically to, to sell people that really you need to individually look at the departments of education, of medical, all these things need specifics. And I don't think they're really targeting the cancer program the way they should. There's a car show on the weekend up at the airport. Well, yeah, the airport. Well, I wouldn't mind seeing that. Yeah, they did a really good job. Yeah, yeah the whole thing was really good. Unfortunately, the they basically said uh, you, you have about a couple of years and that's, that's pretty much it. So I'm, I'm going on three years now. Um, and things are, unfortunately, the cancer is getting more aggressive and it's becoming more and more re resistant to any, any, any chemical treatments of any kind. As we have gone through this journey now, we're into our third year, 
we talked about, okay, end of life is really important for people as well. And for Ron, he's not ready yet. Like everything that's happening needs to still happen, all the research and that kind of thing. But uh, if there's something that, that they can pull off the shelf and buy and start buying people time, I'm all for it.